Hey everybody, welcome back to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, episode 45, season 2, part 3, Dio's World, part 1. I'm gonna do a countdown for you guys, and it starts like this. 3, 2, 1, go. Um, this is gonna be a four-parter day, because Dio's World is three parts, and then there's one remaining episode. And, uh, I don't think anyone's gonna wanna wait until Tuesday in order to get that last episode. I don't know the content of it. But I would imagine it's probably just better to get that done the same day. So these will be coming out within like five minutes of each other. So by the time you're done watching this, the other ones should all be out. What? The fuck? I heard, um... I heard the, like, American voice actor for Paul Nareff. And it's, um... It's kind of awful. Like, he's a little whiny sounding. In comparison, this guy sounds like, you know... Like a guy who could take a punch or maybe could miss a toe or two and be fine. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna be real, I, I kinda thought Dio's ability was to control time. I think I heard, I, I've seen that, I've seen that meme where he can stop time. If that's true, then the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, I've had that spoiled for me, so it, it, that's a little unfortunate. Or at least that he can stop time. But he can also do the demon thing. Like where he makes people into like his um, mind slaves using the plants. But that's like the original JoJo's stand which never manifested in part one, right? But it's like his body so he still gets to use it because reason. Um... Oh, that, that reminds me, we're actually going to get to hear, like, the sound effects for the intro here. Pretty soon here. So it's entirely possible that Dio has other abilities aside from controlling time and making people turn into, like, plant slaves. I don't know what that means. Did he bring a chair to the top of the stairs? 
I'm trying to think of what else that he's managed to do. Does he just have a fog machine installed? Like, there's so many things that I'm like, is this a stylistic choice of the show? Or, like, is Dio just like that? He does seem very similar to the original, um, Dio. I mean, it's still him, but you know. Again, just break holes in the walls. None of these, none of the Joe stars have actually met him, right? Paul Nareff being incredibly smart here in reporting exactly what happened. Yeah, that you guys really do have to get on that. What the fuck? Oh, right. I forgot about him. Sorry, I recorded this yesterday and then now it's it's Tuesday. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way. I hope it was good for you. Um I want to get this done before then because uh I don't want to record on Thanksgiving for obvious reasons. Again, I love it whenever they use the 2D to 3D and back again thing. Like, they do it really, really well with this series. You can tell when it's happening, but, you know. Why stop there, though? Like, just keep fucking up the place. Have one guy's job to just be fuck up the walls. You know? Everyone else just aggress the situation I still don't understand why they don't do that but I think it's like a honor respect glory whatever but it's just like now's not the time for that nor is it the time for sunglasses inside where it's intentionally doesn't have any light I don't know what the fuck you're doing like you have eye damage I get it but it's like pitch fucking dark That's a weird way of phrasing that, Polnareff. Like, that feels like a weird translation thing to say. If you do it, he's gonna kill ya! Yeah, huh? Alright. 
You're dead. He's dead on impact. I would rather get beat up by the Drostars Stars than do that. Because you know he's going to kill you instantaneously. Like, if Dio wants to hide in his coffin, you fucking let him if you're on his side. I'm really glad that Polnera brought that up. Like, you need to have sunlight surrounding you because there are parts of this that you will not be able to handle. And whatever the fuck this is that Dio is doing, if it's just him controlling... Like, <laughs> what? I don't, seriously do not understand why everyone continues to decide, like, you should fight them first thing in the morning. Like, as soon as, like, dawn is breaking, you should start trying to break in and kill them. That way you have a full-ass day to, like, get in there and murder them. You know? Like, I, you know where they're at. You just keep an eye on that. You hire some rando jerk-off from town to just watch the place. Whatever. And you guys get a good nap. You go in the next day. You kick ass. You break... You level the fucking shit. You just, like, dynamite that. Like, you don't even need a stand for that. I'm I'm sorry, I'm going to stop harping on that. Cuz there's certain things that I say like that are they're stupid and are probably wrong. That assumes that Dia's going for Paul Nerif. <laughs> oh, I love that he has a cape now. Oh, that's so good. Of course he would have a cape. Like, running away until sunrises is not going to work. Once he knows you're there, once he knows that you're after him... Oh, that he could work the catwalk. Oh, the cape. 
the hair. Dio, you silly bitch. Even if you didn't know about stands, you don't touch someone who's as ripped as that. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, you look like it. Uh huh. Right? Oh, that's the only. This isn't in America, is it? Oh, no, he is an American. Why are you paying 50 times more in taxes? You're not a very good politician if you're paying more in taxes. Like, that's not the American way. I feel like I've seen the OVA version of this where he like ran out and he ran through traffic and then came back. I guess that's this scene, but the OVA version. I don't really understand how this pincer attack idea is supposed to work. Uh-huh. Can you do that with Jotaro? Surely you should be able to. Wouldn't he have been able to realize the two of you split up because there are two different signatures, one in front of him and one behind? <sighs> He's not having a good day. That doesn't make any sense to anyone.
Dio. So can the senator see Emerald Splash? Or whatever the fuck this guy's ability's name is. And again, I for something or other Hierophant, right? He can't. This is just happening and he has no understanding on why. Y'all need to be super smart right now, and it's not something you guys are really experts at. So right now, just, like, figure out what the range and ability he's got is. Don't don't try anything clever. Just figure out what he has. He's not attacking you right now either because lack of will. Yeah. See, that's good. See, that was good, good shit. See, this is why he's here, because he's got a brain cell or two. Oh. Because he got into the back of the truck. Who's Dio's fashion designer? Like, surely he's, like, forcibly conscripted someone to do that. Because, I mean, just... Uh, impeccable design, you know? And he would do that. He would absolutely go out of his way. He gets all the stand users, and then he would also get um someone to do his like s just his house, do it up real nice and fancy. Then he would do like he would get someone for his clothes. Like Dio is the extra kind of bitch who would do that. Like if he's got the ability to mind control people, he's gonna be real fancy about that shit. You know that wine he's drinking is not some dollar store bullshit. Like he's got some like expensive tastes. All right, well, I guess that's it for this one. Like I said, this is going to be a four-parter today, so the other one should be up by now, and if not by now, they will be by the time that you watch the next one. Uh, so go ahead and just uh, make sure you're in that playlist. Um, the link is at the beginning of each and every video, so if you didn't catch it on this one, just go and check your... Uh, Go and check your feed, uh, or go to After Hours proper, and you can you can check recent uploads and find it there. Uh, again, this is episode forty-five, so the next one would be forty-six. I'll see you there. Bye.